Yeah, g'day guys, Jordan here from Trap and Trigger and uh, trust the old meter. Um, we're putting this video together to demonstrate you guys how we apply our dogs in the field. So uh, it doesn't have to be deer, but other big game species as well. Uh, we're gonna touch base on, on the different indications at different stages of the stalk, uh, what they mean and how we're gonna apply them. So um, we're gonna head up the back here and, and hopefully get a couple of stalks in and we'll point out those key points uh, during that. So. Fingers crossed we get some nice action and um, hopefully Mia pulls through once again. Cheers. So uh, one of the most important parts of stalking with a deer dog is to keep control of the dog at all times. Um, one of my basic rules is I want to maintain sight of my dog during the stalk at all times. So if there's more open vegetation, she's got a bit more uh, range on her. And when it gets tighter, I want her to be closer so I can see what she's indicating. So um, to, to keep that control, I have two, two signals. And so one of them is a stop signal, so a s and a hand, and that'll stop her during a stalk or a track. And my second one is to get in behind, so I'll flick my fingers and say, and that's for getting behind. And so those two basic signals are all I need to stop the dog when I need it to, or to put her in behind if I need to, to take a shot. Um, and that's about as basic, as basic as it needs to be. So what here she's demonstrating is a wind sense. So detecting the in the wind, which we progress forward until we meet them. Um, the second way that you might be able to pick a deer up is by finding a ground scent, so a fresh ground scent, and tracking that down. So um, she's pretty keen and she's been winding a wee bit back and forth here, so I'm guessing it's potentially 100, 150 metres away. So what we'll do is um, we'll close in and hopefully see some changes in her activity. So you can see here again, just a light wind, she's not super keen, um, but she's just indicating that there's something up in that direction. So I'd follow that up. So we've been led into this fresh bed here. Um, so this would be a classic example of a ground scent. So um, if I say, where you go? She's picking up the ground scent from where it's left. And we can track that from here until we meet up with that deer. So you can see her winding, she's still in that winding stage, but she's getting a bit slower, she's slowing down the pace, so I'd say that we're progressing closer to that 40, 50, 60 metres range. So she's just coming out of that winding stage and getting closer to that pointing stage, so um, more subtle movements, um, you know, a little bit firmer, a lot more focused, still a little bit of winding, but um, I'd say we're getting closer to that 50 metre mark here. Um, so what we do is we just progress, keep the dog within a close distance so that we can keep an eye on her and um, she should lead us into that wind scent to our target. So she's pretty keen up this bank here, so I'd say she's going to lead me up there so I'm just going to use my, my stop signal to keep her within range and I'll let her lead me in towards the scope or, or deer. I'm, I'm thinking it's only 30 odd metres away, um, she's quite tense, pretty focused. Um, she doesn't always lift the paw or something, but you know, just that really stiff look is quite a good indication. So when you get this close to the dog, they want you to encourage them to move forward. You know you're getting pretty close. So sometimes they'll just give her a tap on the bum just to shift you forward a bit. Yeah. So just spook the deer off this bed here. You might not have caught that. On this occasion, the dog was successful in locating and leading us to the exact location of a deer. 
Although not catching the deer on camera, it still demonstrates the ability to locate a target species in dense vegetation that otherwise would be impractical using human senses. A well-trained deer dog is invaluable to any recreational hunter or wildlife management program. To summarise the events, the dog goes through three stages of a stalk. Initially detecting a wind scent, then midway transitioning from wind scenting to pointing, and finally going to full point, which accurately detects the position of the deer and leads the hunter to that target. Keep in mind that dogs will vary in technique and intensity, and this demonstration is just an example of how Mia's process works. We pride ourselves in our training and handling of indicated dogs for both recreational hunting and wildlife management. Having a well-trained deer dog or indicator dog by your side will greatly increase your chance of success.